Hello, you are welcome to Tazunomi Online Mathematics, episode 7 of Trigonometry. Now, we are still taking some questions on angle of elevation and angle of depression. Uh, there is a question here I want us to provide a solution for. They said, from the top of a tower of a height, so the height of the tower is 60 meter, the angle of elevation of the top and the bottom of a building are observed to be 30 degrees and 60 degrees respectively, meaning 30 degrees for angle of depression at the top of the building, then 60 degrees for angle of depression at the bottom of the building. So our task is to find the height of the building. All right. Now, we are aware that a building will be vertical. Then a tower will also be vertical. Now, if I have a tower, I can have a building. So I can say this is my building. This is my tower. Or I can still say that this is the tower. This is the building. Whenever I put it, we will not know whether one comes before the other. We are only saying that we have a tower and we have a building. All right. So let me put it here. So I have this. And I have this. Don't forget, the tower and the building are going to be on the same ground, level ground. So if I draw this being the ground, this could be my building, this could be my tower. Now, they said at the top of the tower. So when you are at the top of the tower, you are viewing the top of a building and the bottom of a building. You can see the diagram I have done. If I want to stand here and view this top, I cannot view the top. I can only view in horizontal to the building top or to the top of the building. So it means that the tower must be taller. The tower must be taller than that of what? The building. Before I can be able to see the top of the building. So let's say I have the building this way. I am standing at the top of a tower. Then I am viewing the top of a building. So if I stand here, don't forget angle of depression is measured below a horizontal line below a horizontal line or below an eye level so as i am standing here i will have my eye level as a horizontal line so i am going to view an angle of elevation to the top so as i am here i am viewing the top of the building don't forget, the angle is measured below a horizontal line. So this is our 30 degrees. Then they said depression of the top is what? 30 degrees. Then depression of the bottom is also what? 60 degrees. So it means I am still standing at the top there with the same eye level looking at the bottom of this building. Still with the horizontal, I'll form this plane to be angle of what? Depression to be 60 degrees. All right. Now, let's see that we can see that this is the building. We can draw a horizontal to meet the top of the building. So if I am having this line, since it's a horizontal, it is also going to be parallel to the eye level of the observer. So if I have this, let me say this parallel to this. And if I have a transverse, we know the angle produced here is equal to the angle produced here using alternate angles. So it means the top which is 30 degrees will be also equal to this place as 30 degrees. Likewise, if I take this horizontal line, it's going to be parallel to the eye level. So if I take a transverse, which is from here to here, the angle produced at the corner is 60, meaning here is also what? 60 degrees. So no need drawing another triangle to find our uh, right angle triangle. We can find this as a right angle triangle, A, B, C, D, E. We can use this as a triangle, which we have here as 90 
year as what? 90. All right, let's proceed. From the question, we were told that the height of the tower is what? 60 meter. The height is 60, meaning all the way from here to this place is 60 meter. So let me label here. Let's say I have A, B, C, D, E. If I label this diagram this way, I can form two triangles. Triangle A, B, C. As a right angle triangle with each right angle here, A, D, E. As another triangle, which is a right angle triangle. For A, E, C is a triangle alright, but not right angle. Alright. So if... I want to take this one as a triangle using the angle 60, uh, 30. I need to know the value of this or the value of this. This value is the same as this. So if I know this value and know this, it means I can easily use the trick ratios. So I am going to say that let this place equals to y, meaning AB, the distance AB equals to y. Then the distance BD is going to be something added to Y to give you 60. If I add a value to Y, I must get 60. The same time, if I subtract Y from this 60, I must be able to get the remaining one. So me, here will be 60 minus what? Y. So we are done with our side of triangle. I can say that from the triangle A, B, C. Triangle A, B, C. Taking this in consideration facing 30. So this is going to be opposite adjacent. Opposite adjacent. Two. So I can use tan. Tan theta which is now what? 30 degrees equals to the opposite side which will be Y over the hypothetical adjacent which will be B, C. So I have B, C. Don't forget that we know the value of this as uh, this was 0, 30. So if it is 10, you are going to have 1. Then we pick the remaining 3. So 1 over root 3. So we're having 1 over root 3 equals to y over bc. Since we have already indicated here is y, we need to know what bc is. So we can cross multiply and say our bc is going to be y multiplying root 3. So y root what? 3. I believe you are with me. Alright. That is finding this side. That is BC. Now, I want to take the bigger triangle, which will be from triangle A, D, E. Triangle A, D, E. Looking at AD facing the angle 60, that will be our opposite. So I can still have tan 60 equals to opposite side, which is all the way from A to D. That will give us 60 over DE. That will be the adjacent. So I have DE. In this case, I can still find what DE is by cross multiplying. This will come here. So I'll be having DE equals to 60 over tan uh, 60. And I think tan 60 will give us, let's see. So this is 0, 30, 45, 60. So root 3 over what? Root 1. And that will be root 3. So this is what I'll get. Now, if you check carefully, you see that B, C, D, E form a rectangle, meaning the length of B, C should be the same as D, E. So we can say that length B, C equals to length D, E. If that's the case, the value for B, C, which is going to be Y root 3, is going to be the same as 60 over root 3. The length, this is the length of the rectangle, so we can have that. The moment I am having that, it means I am having a fraction. I have to multiply both sides of the equation by the 
LCM, which is a denominator here, the LCD. So if I multiply here, it's going to be root 3 times root 3, which can be written as root 3 all square. Then this will cancel, giving me only 3. Or better still to be the root of 3 times 3. And 3 times 3 is what? Root 9. And root 9 will also give us what? 3. So multiplying through by root 3, I'll be having here as 3y equals to 60. Meaning I multiply this also by root 3. It will cancel. So in this case, your y is just what? 60 divided by what? 3. And that will give you 20. So it means from A to B is 20. The question is asking us to find the height of the building. Don't forget we said C, E is the height of the building. Which is what? 60 minus Y. 60 minus Y is the same as what? C, D. So the height, C, E equals to B, D, which is what? 60 minus Y. And Y is what? 20. And that gives us what? 40. Therefore, the height, the height of this, of the building is going to be 40 meter. The height is going to be 40 meter. So when you get the question, no need to panic. All you need to know is what are the vertical lines? Draw those vertical lines. Use the reasoning. You know, you are looking at the top of something. So it means you cannot be the same level with somebody and be looking at the top of the person. So you have to be a little bit elevated, then you look down. So as you are looking down, you are having an angle of depression. Don't forget your eye level will have a horizontal line. When you compute that, your diagram will be perfect. So I believe you follow this. If you have any question, hit me up in the comment section for redress. The name still remains Gakbo Fred on Tazunomi Online Mathematics. See you.